Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 15th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Cost of Truth. Our scripture is John chapter 8. Jesus said to the people who believed in him, You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. I tell you the truth, before Abraham was even born, I am. At that point, they picked up stones to throw at him. The truth is always in opposition to everything else. Lies particularly, but it's also in opposition to near truth, variation, point of view, imagination, cultural correctness, expediency, and justifying the means idealism. And the list goes on quite extensively and expensively. There's always quite a cost to sticking with the truth. It can cost you your career. It did that with my dad, who in the 1940s and 50s worked in an aircraft factory and served for a brief time as the union representative for a crew working on fighter jets. The foreman had been notified by upper management that he had to lay off some workers. He created the list, but it was my dad's sad task to notify the workers. Layoffs always began with the least seniority, which was by union rule and common sense. The name of a young woman who had only started working a few months prior and therefore should have been one of the first on that list was not on the list, while several senior employees were being let go. My dad went to the foreman to call attention to this so-called error, knowing it was no error. It was common knowledge the foreman and this young woman, both married to other people, were having an affair. Dad knew the risk involved with holding to the truth. My dad had a mortgage, a car payment, and four mouths to feed. But he also had a conscience to keep him awake at nights if he shed the truth for a paycheck. When he pointed out the foreman's so-called oversight, the man waved his hand and said, Hey, you're the union rep, and that's the list. Do your job. Dad pointed out the seniority rule, and the foreman wouldn't budge. So he told the foreman, if that woman's name isn't put on the list, you just add my name to it, which is exactly what the foreman did. Long story short, things got a little tough over the next few months at the Brownworth house as my dad hunted for a new job. But more importantly, he slept just fine every night. By comparison, My father's cost of living with truth long ago was tiny compared to the eventual cost Jesus paid. The crowds Jesus talked to were a bunch of his fellow Jews who were believers. But when they began to realize the monumental changes that would take over their lives if they actually went past the formality of acknowledgement of Jesus, all the way to becoming disciples of Jesus, taking their time, talent, tithes, and their eternity on him, well, that was too much. They picked up stones to put an end to the truth so they could be comfortable in their religious self-righteousness. Sometimes people are not willing to pay the cost truth demands. It's an unfortunate and unwise choice, however. When you opt for anything but truth, Here's what Jesus says about you. John 8:44. For you are the children of your father the devil, and you love to do the evil things he does. He was a murderer from the beginning. He's always hated the truth, because there's no truth in him. When he lies, it's consistent with his character. For he is a liar and the father of lies. For you today, consider whose family you choose. When you part company with truth. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.